Hey everybody, this is Ryan. I am standing out here in the sun. <laughs> um, I'm right on the side of the road again. And uh, I'm over here because I drove by uh, about a week ago and I noticed a big X structure. And I wanted to come back down here and check this out. So here I am. I found a place to cross this little creek and I'm about to do that and get to the other side and show you guys the stuff that I'm seeing over here. Now, you know, this is stuff that all of you guys can do to go find them on your own. That's the only way that you're gonna get the truth about whether they exist or not or what they can do, things like that. That's the only way you're gonna do it. To do what I'm doing right now, find their areas that's how you do it and this is what to look for I will show you right now okay here's the creek I am having to cross uh, oftentimes you will find prints in water because they typically will use water to cross I mean to traverse places for one thing it's an open area to walk now look at all this right here all this stuff is crossed in X formations and uh, this stuff's laying over this fence so you can just walk right over it um, there's also there's some other stuff I've seen just on my way down here that is really interesting formations and stuff like that they're really, really neat. And uh, this is the area right here. Okay, I'm gonna get over here, cross where it looks easiest, but I'm trying not to disturb any of these things. Oh, crap. Okay. And you're gonna hear some traffic. I am right by the road. That's the road right there. There's gonna be cars <sighs> that you're gonna hear. All right. Now, here we go. Now, I'm sure this is, heard something moving around, I stepped. Just making sure it's not a snake. Um, this is probably somebody's property. But, I mean, look at this, guys right here look at that oh, shadows in the way get a closer look at it look at that that's an X right there with a tree bend or a vine no it's a vine it's just growing but they've just leaned that X up right there on it why is this thing blurry like that camera just went super blurry what the crap is wrong with it? I don't know. Zoom out. But yeah, there's an X right there, but that's not the one I was coming here to see to begin with. This is just the first one I've stumbled upon. Oh, okay. That's the stuff to look for right there. If you see those, you will find them and I can see where they've been walking there's plenty of footpaths there was something right over here by me this stick just moved and I did not step on it See a lot of stuff out here, uh, structures and things like that. I'm trying not to get snagged up too bad by all these briars. There's a bunch of them, and we've had just an unbelievable amount of rainfall in the last week, a couple, few weeks actually. It's been an extremely wet and warm winter 
down here in the south, which is exactly what the Farmer's Almanac had predicted, actually. They were spot on this year. I'm just trying not to get too wet and muddy. Wow. Okay. Here is the X. I'm going to go right over here to it. Look at this. Look at all this right here. Tree bends. Sticks just intertwined everywhere. There's another barbed wire fence right here. What I'm seeing. And it's got stuff leaned over on it too. Make it easier to cross. Okay, so. Here it is, look at that. That is a big X structure. And look at this. Okay, look at that. Now I wanna show you something here. All right. Look, okay. That's the X right there. Right in front of this X, there is a log laying over the fence. And that's also a very narrow part of the creek right there. I, I could have crossed there probably, but I went down just to look around and ended up crossing down there. But, uh, cause I parked right over here, but right there, that thing is holding that part of the fence down and like right directly by it, behind it is this ax. And I want you to see how they made this. Okay. They stuck these sticks right in the fork of these trees right in between them and that's not going anywhere I mean that's that's sturdy you can see it right there how they did that and that's a big log that they put there okay so guys when you see this when you see this, that marks their territory. That is a boundary marker right there. The Sasquatch build those. I am certain of that. Now I'm gonna go behind it here and see what we can find. I'm not gonna go too deep because I don't I didn't see any houses really close to here or anything, so it's not like I'm walking around in somebody's yard. And, uh, but I'm still not going to go too, too far back, just in case. Look at all that. That looks like framework right there. They bent trees here. A lot of stuff up there. And I bet that this more wooded area back there has got so much more stuff. Might as well just go check that out. I'm already back here. And there's a good little place right there to cross the fence. So, why not? Okay. Yeah, and I'm seeing a path. I've seen several of them as I've come back through here. But uh, there's paths where you can see where something's been walking all over this place. Look at that. This tree's bent, leaned, sticks broken. All kinds of stuff out here. I can promise you I'm being watched right now.
by them. There's no doubt about that in my mind. But, <clears throat> you know, I just, I, I never have any problems, okay, when I'm out in places like this. And uh, as far as they go, even if I know they're around, they don't mess with me. I've never had it happen. In all these years, I've never had a negative encounter. And um, I do believe that is because they can tell that I'm friends with and accepted by a group of them, the ones that live near me. Look at this. So I think they just know I'm a friend of theirs, a friend of their kind, to their people. And I truly believe that that's, they can tell these things. Look at that one. I'll see that a lot too. You'll see a bend with a stick leaned up on it. I think that's symbolic, I really do. But I don't know exactly what it's symbolic of. But there are bends everywhere. And you can see where something has been underneath this. And that actually looks like framework. And there's a stick or a tree leaned up on it. And they're bent from all over and it's like they're all converging right there in the center. And um, I heard something back there behind me. to the side of me and over here I was, I was looking at this too and I'm following a path for sure that's where they've that's where that lean is and look at this down here little sticks leaned up at the bottom and you'll often see that on these bigger structures um, man look at this yeah, this is where they must, the main area where they hang out. Because you can see the ground is like so compressed right here. And uh, there's a blind, pretty much. Now, I mean, all this stuff being in this one spot right here, that's not just nature. It's not. Maybe if there was nothing else out here I could think well something happened in this one area but I mean if you just examine this and look at how it's placed you've got stuff laying on the forks of trees that are standing still you've got limbs bent right here from this you've got other tree bends right here beside it Like this, with stuff laying over them, sticks laying over them. That, how they're crossing right there where that one's standing up. Okay. Look at all that. Man, that's a lot of bins. <laughs> Very compressed right here too. This area is just extremely flattened out. You see a lot of traffic has been coming through here. Something has walked through here a lot. Look at that X right there in front of me. Almost walked right into it. Why is that thing blurred out like that? Let me try to clean it. See if that helped. Yeah, that helped. Maybe it was something on the lens. On the secondary lens. But, yeah, you see right here, guys, there's an X. Ah, it's blurred out again. Damn. What is doing that? That's crazy. I can't get up close. But I have to get like a 
full view footage of out here. I can't, it's like the camera is not letting me use the closer view. It's weird. That has never happened before. Let's see where they've walked through here for sure. All kinds of stuff out here. And, um, I mean, this is it, dudes. If you want to find the Sasquatch, this is what you do. You look for this stuff, and this is where they'll be. Yeah, I can tell you right now, I'm wondering if that's a print. It looks kind of defined. There, small one. Look at that. That stuff laid up right in the fork of this. Big trees everywhere. This is crazy. I mean, this area, I guarantee you, if you come out to this area at night, you can see a trail right there. It could be a game trail, but they probably follow it too. Right through here too, see one. But if you came out here at night, I promise you, you'd get some activity. There's no doubt in my mind. Look how flattened out that is right underneath this bend. I mean, compared to right here, and over there, look at underneath that, underneath that tree bend, how packed down that is. And you can see a perfect outline of something that size. I mean, maybe it's a coyote that lays there or something, but there's a lot of stuff that they made out here, so. <laughs> look at this spot here. Bend there. It's being anchored underneath this. And man, that is so packed down right here compared to all the other ground around it. That's just wild. Look right there, and you see underneath that tree bend, same thing. It's packed down, very compressed. There's a, this is anchoring that tree bend right here. And you can see where it was put underneath there. Over there if you can see it. Maybe the is doing that. I can't shoot in anything but far away video right now. And that's weird. Camera's just doing weird stuff out here for real. And this gets really dense back there. I'm going to go check this spot out and then I'm going to head out because I just, I'm feeling kind of nauseous now. And it didn't start until I got way back here. So I'm going to take off in a minute. I don't want to wear out my welcome and I don't know, but look at this. These are like staggered. And look, there's another stick leaned up on a bend. Don't worry guys, I'm not messing with anything. Look at that. How there's like three different ones and there are three different levels. Right there. And underneath it is extremely packed down. I hear steps out that way. And I see another X over there. I don't, I'm not going to go to it, but you might can see it if I can find where my finger is. It's right there. See it crossing right there. I'm shaky too. I don't usually get that way. Dang, man. What is up with this focus? It's just not letting me 
focus right. And I usually don't experience problems like this in places like, I mean, uh, you know, it just doesn't happen a lot like it used to. I used to have it happen all the time out at my place, and I'm not really as used to it as I used to be. I was, like, accustomed to my camera messing up because it happens so frequently. But nowadays, it's not as often, if ever. I actually don't know if it's... But yeah, it has happened with this camera, but... Anyway, I'm going to head out because I don't want to get zapped. That sucks, and uh, I don't want to freak anything out. You know, you know, you just never know. Even though they can probably sense that I'm not a threat, I'm still unfamiliar, and they may have babies out here, young ones that they're trying to protect. So I don't want to stay too, too long. Look at all that bent, just, I mean, I don't think that fell there given all this other stuff. All those bends, like that. So anyway, I'm heading out. Um, I'm walking back to the X. I can see it perfectly from here. Okay. I appreciate everybody watching and let me know what you guys think about this stuff. Leave me some comments. And uh, if you have the urge to know the truth, go out and look for this stuff. All I did was drive by. I drove by this on the side of the road and saw it on the side of the road. So that is all you have to do, typically. If you go out into a rural area like this, and I mean, this is not that it is rural but there are a lot of people out here that's the thing there's houses like right down the road very close to where I'm at right now so it's not like they're staying that hidden these days you can find them if you have the the urge you can find them you can go seek them out just be respectful don't mess with their structures it helps to talk to them all that just be respectful that's all you really really need to do that goes further than anything else there's the x again all right thanks for watching everybody